Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Earthbound. In the last part, we finished up in the dungeon slash mine. And uh, to progress in the game, all I think all we have to do is talk to this guy again. Um, and he'll say like, uh, he might be the same guy, he might be like a separate digger, but just talk to him. He'll say, um, you've gotten rid of the monster? Good job. Okay, from here on, uh, just let me dig. You'll see, I'll find the big... I'll f you'll see I'll find the buried gold. Before I start digging, I'm going to set a careful plan of action. Okay, so after that, all you have to do is go back to foresight, really. So, let's just do that. <laughs> it should be a short part, and when I say that, I really do mean it should be a short part. Because there's only a set amount of things I want to do in this part. Like usual! So, yeah. We'll walk in, we'll walk in. We might run into a magic butterfly in the next tunnel. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see, we'll walk in, we'll walk in. Oh wait, no, hold on. This is where the actions happens. I think. Maybe it's the next. Okay, there it goes. Cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's um, it's a. Uh, I forget that. Uh, scoop. I think it's Scoop from Bob the Builder, but it's a live action cartoon, uh, Earthbound version of Scoop from Bob the Builder. Okay, nest greetings. I'm George. George the Jungle. George Gerardo. Gerardu, I don't know. Uh, Montague's brother. <laughs> Gerardo. Oh, it's two separate people. Okay, Gerardo, I guess is his name, is in his mine. But he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Cool. This is, is this a Pokemon diamond Easter egg? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Gerardo told me to give it to Ness. Here it is. Please take it. And of course, Ness gets it. Ness got the diamond. We've. Got, well, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other mine. Busy, busy, busy. Huh? What other mine do you speak of? That's kind of scandalous. Kinda, but it's like whatever. We're just a kid in this game. We don't have to worry about that stuff. <laughs> but we do have to worry about evil villains like Guy Gas. It's just whatever. It's like okay. I'll just move on with my life from here, is what we're basically saying. Well, oh, we don't need another magic butterfly. I don't think we need PP, really. If we do, we can just heal at the hotel or something. Yeah, we're good on... Yeah, we're good. But we still need a pause paralysis, which I'll show you how to do that. Um, we want to go back to where the 105 were, but um, I want to show off where, to, where you can, how you can heal your paralysis. Because you have to do it at the hospital and talk to the guy who's a healer and he has blue hair and stuff. So we would um, go back to Tapoa, but uh, I want to show off the whole um, healing Paula if, or any members of your team that are paralyzed. Because you can't heal them with healing beta or healing alpha or anything like that. Um, so you have to um, do it the other way and go back to the healer in the, in the hospital. Now it's got to be around here somewhere. I think it's this building right here. Yeah, okay. The one that says hospital. Yeah, that's the right one. Let's go in it. Okay, so I don't have any... Well, I only have two dollars on me. Shoot. Oh, man. Well, is this an ATM? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Dang it. Oh, my gosh. I have to go back and get money. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'll be right back. Because, uh, he is a healer right heal. Yeah, right heal. Okay. Th uh, though you may not believe it, but I'm a healer. Um, if you have, if you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital. It's my job to cure you. Do you want to myself? Yes. We want to do, um, restore feeling, I guess is. Then the charge is $90. I don't have $90 on me. So I'll be right back. Uh, I'd recommend you, if you, if you have the same, if you have the same situation as me where you have to go heal someone's paralysis and, uh, to get back into the, um, true top, you have to buy another ticket for $30. So I'm going to come back here with like $120, maybe 200 just to be sure. Cause I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have, uh, $200, you know, it's just enough to pay for the ticket for $30 and the healer who's off, who will, uh, cure a power of a paralysis for $90, so we're good. Store feeling, yes. We need healing, Paul does. Yeah, and then there we go. Um, there, you're, all, you're already healed. Can I do my, can I do my job or what? Can I do well or what? I misread that, dang it, I don't, <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Okay, so let's go back to that. You know, where the runway 5 were. Because now that we have a diamond, we can pay off their debt. 
I just have to get there first, you know, that's, that's a big thing. Let's walk on the sidewalk and be safe, guys. Just around this corner. Oh, that's not it. Okay, maybe further down, yeah. There we go, here it is. I found it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we have to pay for another ticket, so let's just do that. Let's do our ticket. Yes, 30 bucks, please. There we go. Thanks a lot. Okay, cool. Let's talk to you. Um, who's up your ticket ready? Oh, yeah, okay. So, let's have to go goods. And with our ticket. Um, who has it? I think Paul might have it. Jeff might have it. Yeah, Jeff has it. Okay, cool. Use, I guess. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Okay, but first, what we want to do is go in here. And we just want to um, go up to her, go to goods, and then select the diamond, and select use. What, what, what? I can't see, I can't tell what it is from this distance. Bring it closer, okay? So, you can't bring it closer on the left side because I guess it's, oh wait, you can, okay, never mind. I thought you could, yeah, you can, I thought you could only go through this way to get to the back of her, like on the right side. But I was wrong, okay. Let's show her the diamond again, I guess. There we go. Eee! Uh, that, that, that diamond. You going to pay with that diamond? Oh, okay. That, that that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. <laughs> I might add a ripping sound effect when editing, actually, instead of me saying rip. <laughs> okay, so don't tell me, don't tell anyone about the diamond. Um, now the runway five are free. You should thank me. That diamond was worth maybe, maybe fifty dollars. So I'll give you a bargain. Thump, 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 thump. I made lots of money. <laughs> and the money five come on in, yeah. Sorry, but being such sorry about being such troublemakers. Okay. We won't be so gullible anymore. We well, our friends are waiting, baby. Okay. I like this music. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. Okay, fair enough. All right, thanks again. Okay, they're kind of happy to be out, not owing money anymore again. So that's pretty cool. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. Set freedom, 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 is what we've really sought. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. And then the other guy, the first guy, just drags him out of there just from, so he wouldn't, like, embarrass himself, I guess. From further, I guess you could say. So all that we can do, all we can do now is just watch the show. We got, we paid for a show ticket, we will watch their final show here. At the Tropolo, or whatever it's called. No, it's just the T. Okay, um, you wanna buy a ticket? No, I don't wanna buy a ticket. You can buy tickets even, literally behind the counter, you can buy some tickets. <laughs> Okay, what do you have to say? Um, boys and girls, ladies and gents, uh, this is a very special show. The, f the final Runway 5 show here in Tapula. Here at the Tapula. Please, please, please don't miss this once in a lifetime chance to see their show. Fine, we'll go in. I was gonna point, I was just gonna go in anyway. I paid for a show ticket for crying out loud. Welcome to the final Runway 5's performance at the Tapula Theater. That's a trap or a topula? I don't even remember how it's pronounced. It's going to be a great show. We're so good it makes we're so good it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. The yeah, the the kids that saved you from your um dad. Okay, cool, yeah. We'll totally wet our pants for you. Okay, so those kids are hip, baby. Thanks. I'll take the compliment. Yeah, I think this is like a similar show that we saw in like Tucson, where they do this little moonwalking, I guess. So yeah, let's, let's just watch.
I like how the bus just pops up on stage and just comes from the curtain and they kind of, two people, two of the runner five guys just run in. I think that's all we have to do here, so let's just exit the theater. And we can, um, just, uh, go, get out here, I guess. Oh, hi. And then he moves out of the way. Okay, cool. Okay, so, um, I want to go back to the hotel and actually just save there, I guess. Because I think that's all we want to do for this part. So I'm going to do just that. It's not, it's no big deal. There we go, there's a hotel. Nice. So, so this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part will take on probably more foresight. Maybe finish it up, maybe. I don't know. We just kind of spent a lot of time here now. But that end, you go into the desert and stuff. So, yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play. <laughs>